the uh, fourth overtime, in which uh, Diamond finally won. Four all onto the pistol bash here on uh, Burgundy. And prediction-wise, uh, I don't know. I, didn't, I don't know what the score was the first map for uh, Boss because they did win. But we'll see. I mean, Boss have been uh, a very strong team throughout the event. And Diamond, not too sure about Diamond. But again, they, uh, they won the overtime quite convincingly as well, not losing a single uh, round after the fourth Axis overtime, in fact. Eliminated. You have Allies Icebox win. winning uh, the Pistol Bash for Team Diamond, of course, going to be staying on the Allied side, which would make uh, the most sense. Just waiting on these guys to uh, quickly restart uh, the server. We can go live once more to the semi finals, and whoever wins this one is going to be up against the uh, E Rip team. I think the uh, final as well is going to be a really interesting game, as well th as this. It's. It should be a good game to watch. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one to some degree. I still have to save some energy for the grand final because we've been streaming for quite a long time right now, so bear with me. Just waiting on uh, Mr. Mouse to ready up, and we are live into the semi finals between Diamond and Boss. We're on to the third map already from Burgundy. Diamond will uh, start on the attacking side. And I'm not sure he's gonna scope. Actually, BenQ gonna pick up the scope this time. And he did miss up the first shot, but fair beans to miss that one. As uh, Smokes and Nates are kinda go raining through. Do we have a player across? Nope, we haven't, because Scopefield has just picked himself the first frag to end it. Icebox is gonna move himself into the position as well. So Diamond got control over this B bomb side. Mauser did manage to uh, shut down Surf and Icebox just dodging the shots time and time again. Blur meanwhile making his way uh, to the back line of uh, the team Diamond side. He's looking for picks as well. Finds Ben Q proning around. Kerba does shut down Tio, but Nikes with a lovely no scope onto Kerba. Schofield immediately back onto Nike, so 2 on 2. As, uh, Schofield went locking, and he got punished for it. Blur shuts him down. Still, though, Boss should be able to uh, pull this one back if Mauser and Blur just time it right. Spoke is in a 1 on 2, and he's got one man coming from Bialy. And we've got a CI. Not too sure if you have that as well, Dince, but. Yep, I'm getting CI'd as well. I guess that's gonna be the server, and I think we should be replaying this round, really. <laughs> this yep. is uh, hardly fair for either of them. Wow. There All right. has not been a more awkward timing than this. I guess we're just gonna be right back until they fix their server. So guys, do stay tuned, we'll be right back with you with the semi-finals after a quick restart of the server. Alright guys, we are back. I do apologize for uh, 
the connection interrupted that we had. I think it was on our end because these guys did continue and uh, we did see, uh, we did actually see a clutch from uh, the last player left of life, Icebox. He wasn't able to. As uh, Tio will open up to serve Kerba back onto Enet. And Kerba once again, he continues to cause the damage onto Nikes. Tio and uh, Blur, your last two men left standing. Blur goes down to BenQ's uh, no scope. Tio in a one on four. He's got himself the shotgun. There's bumping plan on B. Gotta rush through the eliminate. smoke. But you know, that's not a wise decision. Nice buckle. Clearly, clearly, he's shut it now. 2-1. Yep, and uh, so far so good. I actually see the other stream uh, timing out as well, so there's some slight issues with the connection. But um, right now, boss picking up the first frag. It was the uh, it was Enid. No, it was actually Boer picking up a grenade frag and an MP44 frag. And now this B bomb site is crowded with boss players. Diamond need to rethink their strategy. They need to. Rethink their approach on this. They're gonna go for picks on B or just go all the way over to A. But the problem with going to A is that also their their players are of a uh, boss ready and waiting in that side. Where with his fourth frag of the round he's on the George Foreman, he's on for the ace and. Uh, all in the hands of BenQ. BenQ is over, all the way over at A. It's taken out from Mauser. <laughs> nice little spot there for Mauser. And uh, take them down conveniently. Sick, sick round there for Blur. Four frags. Yeah, I'm quite impressed how uh, Boss actually uh, managed to play the German side. I mean, they're still even, which is a good sign for them. So, it is the third map, so it is go big or go home for either of the teams. And Diamond just got the second. Like, Really, really close, and uh, Boss are gonna show that dominance now as Nikes and uh, Tio will open up with two quick frags. Kerba does shut down in it, and perhaps Diamond can still get the bomb down, which uh, they should be able to do so. I mean, the smoke is up there. Nice smoke is gonna go ahead and get the package down. It shines golden as the bomb goes down. The Diamondite has been planted. Uh, meanwhile, it's gonna go looking top spawn now. Snikes is moving in as well. Gonna look to go for a quick no scope, but misses the first shot. Gonna go for the second shot, but can't land it. And where are the teammates? They're nowhere near to get him. Uh, get a return frag. And BenQ picks up another frag onto Tio. And this is gonna be a problem for uh, Blur and Mauser to clutch right now, as uh, there are men down. And they just timed a little better. They could have got it, but Mauser does pick up Icebox. Blur has been picked off meanwhile by uh, Kerba. Clock sticking away. And he will shut down Mauser. And 3 2. 2 2, your score. Uh, 3 2, your score. And sorry. Yeah. Look at Kerba. He's uh, absolutely being great right now for Team Diamond. Nikes again onto BenQ. Mike's, uh, who we've, uh, who we have seen to be very dominant in the other games as well. Mauser with a grenade frag there on the surf. Being a uh, grenade frag from Kirby as well. Schofield will pick up that cross frag. Mauser denied entry into that bomb site. It's a three on three situation. Schofield with another frag. They're on the Nikes. They two on two right now. Schofield spots a silhouette of, uh, I think that is Blur into that. Yes, it's Blur into that dark room. Gofield with his fourth frag of the round. Oh, sorry, his third frag of the round on the Tio. Gonna fake that bomb. Kerba is gonna lay down some covering fire. Gofield is gonna move around and try to get the frag, but doesn't land the frag or even the tag. And Kerba is gonna finish it up. Finish Blur off and uh, make it 4 to 2 in favor of uh, Team Diamond. Yeah, perhaps they're gonna be slipping away right now, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe, uh,. Boss still have uh, got something in store for them. We see BenQ missing up the first shot. Will land the jump shot onto Nikes, which is great stuff from BenQ. That's what you want to see from the scopes. And another nice shot onto Enid. Jumping scope shot. And now Boss are well in the back foot as Icebook picks off Blur as well. Tio has been spotted. 
Can I pick up the MP44 of uh, Blur? And a timeout has been called and cancelled, and again, been called. But Surf will uh, shut down Tio. Mauser, your last man. In a 1 on 5, make that a 1 on 4. And Surf She's goes down, then Q will get himself an hat trick of frags. Fight 2. And a timeout. Tactical, I can only assume. Because uh, Diamond do, be, do seem to be slipping away. Uh, Mazur joined Spectator for for some uh, second there, but it's probably uh, think anything of that. There's uh, probably going to be some uh, tactical adjustments here for Team Boss. I mean, uh, they looked ever so dominant in the group stage, but I can't help but feel that they had a, a fairly easy group. True. Might be, uh, I don't I think mean, anyone can argue that. It's, uh, we've seen the other group, and we've seen the close games, actually, that occurred there. And, uh, I think, uh, in the beginning, we thought that, uh, Boss would win this easily, but I, th I think we're coming off that statement. Might, uh, might actually go home. Of course, it's not over until the Fat Lady Sinks Bank, you will pick up the first, uh, cross fracture onto Enid, so that is that the site weakened for uh and for team diamond for the taking thank you oh with another fractal on the to thank you is going smoke. to work smoke shotting no scoping whatever he's doing surf with another frag on the blur mouser finally replying on the surf but the bomb has already been planted icebark has put them explosive the tnt that dynamite as you said it onto that side and it's ticking away and it's manically ticking away and it's uh, giving team boss the incentive to hurry up and uh, try to retake the side it's not happening as the now finds himself in a 1v4 gets Just tagged up gets taken down from bank you three frags for him in this round bank you absolutely stepping it up there for his uh, first team absolutely brilliant on that cross check yeah i'm gonna pick it up with ben q straight off the bat because he does seem to be landing those scope shot and that's always nice to see as a scope of Burgundy, especially in an allied side. It gives you such an advantage already. And two players now watching the cross together with Surf. BenQ is watching it, but no players are crossing. This could be an indication of a uh, pincer movement from the back, which uh, bots are doing, but <laughs> it's already been anticipated by uh, Team Diamond. Surf will pick up one on the back. Mauser with a return frag of the scope field. BenQ with a grenade frag on the end. Tio can't connect the shot onto Surf. And Surf will deliver as the bomb goes down on B. And Boss finds himself into trouble once more. As we slow down the pace with Nice. Your last man standing. It's gonna go down any minutes by BenQ. 7 2. And really, Diamond are looking very strong this half. Yep, and uh, very strong indeed. 7-2 to two already, and uh, Boz needs to find something. Well, Nikes finds, uh, finds Kerber there. Up the early frag. Eat it all. Only tagging up Banku there. It's unlucky for him. It's actually a half smoke shot as well. Nikes with another grenade frag. They're on the Icebox, making it a 5v3 right now in favor of Boss. Will this be the round to uh, get them back? With a fighting chance, Enid with a full smoke shot there onto Schofield, who was crossing into B. I don't know if you caught that, but that was a brilliant shot there from Enid. Thank you. Coming in the back, though, picking up the first frag, almost picking up the second, but gets taken down from Tio's shotgun. It's now a one on four surf. I have to say, I can't help but mention it that he's done it before, but uh, it's a very hard position to be in right now. Let's see, let's get on the point of view of Surf. No, it's not gonna happen. Mauser will take him down as he tries to run back towards the APC. And uh, that is a round for balls on the board. So uh, maybe they can come back into this. Right now, Close Team Dominant. Team Dominant, I even call them. Yeah. Team Diamond are looking ever so dominant. I can't help but feel though that Diamond are already in a fantastic spot. There's just two more rounds left to play. And if. Diamond can pick up one more round, they're already looking good. Yep. Especially with uh, BenQ, if he can hit some more shots, it will be there around. Uh, but this time, 
No one peeking. He did spot a player, but he won't get it. <clears throat> As uh, boss electing this time once again not to cross towards B, which could be problematic. As they're not aggressive on the flanks as well. Which will uh, allow for a nice and easy plant for uh, Diamond. The bomb's gonna go down now, right now by Surf. We're just gonna dodge the nade though. A very good thing to do, but Nikes is in the back picking of Surf! And what on earth are these uh, Diamond players doing? They're just allowing Nikes to get in that position. With uh, Benkyu getting himself the return frag into Enet, but Nikes is still there and he's gonna be a nuisance. Uh, this time, I don't see anyone. Mauser picks up Ben Q. Schofield on the blur. See into Schofield. So, Diamond are uh, sort of on the back foot, but they have got themselves the bomb planted. So, all three players from uh, Boss are going to be stacking up on uh, the half truck. Icebox is going to be your man to watch with the shotgun behind the wall. He can do a lot of damage. He yeah, has got the potential to do so, but his teammate goes down, Mauser makes a team kill to Nikes, and it's a 1-1 one -one now, Icebook goes big, picks up two quick frags, 8-3 he'll score, and one more round for Diamond, if they will take it, 9-3, then I do feel Diamond are going to be the finalist. Sorry, I can't help but facepalm there. Like, they were in the brilliant position there, they clutched that round. Wow, and then that team kill happened. I mean, at a situation like that, that has to be frustrating. That has to be demotivating even to, uh... But... Boss are not showing any signs of that as they uh, pick up the first frag. If it was a uh, headshot, yes, it was a headshot from Mike's onto, onto BenQ there. The bomb is still gonna go down on B. Is it gonna be grenaded? No, it is not. He gets tagged. Oh, he actually gets killed eventually. Double nades there from Boss and... Uh, Mauser will finish at the job that Tio actually started. So, uh, right now, 5v3. Schofield will take down Nike. So, that's a 4 on 3 right now as a serve. Here's a player towards that mid guard. He's going to rattle off some shots. He's not going to connect with the frag as Blur comes out on top of that one. And it's now a 4 on 2. Kerba and Schofield left. Make that a 4 if you want to see it. Disposes of Schofield with a shot to the head with his car. And it is now a 4 on 1. Kerba is in that one. Way Haven, are they gonna check this? No, they're not. But he blows his load too early. <laughs> As uh, he will get finished off, and that is eight to four. But still, a very, very strong American side there from uh, from Team Diamond. Win. I mean, if uh, Kerba, for instance, would have just waited and killed the diffuser, you might have a chance. I think he just picked it just a little bit too early. I think he should have just risked it. Just just take the risk and wait for them to defuse. Yep, that's what I uh, would have would have done. But then again, maybe they would have uh, cheated. And... Yeah, no, you but never know. it's better to take that risk than to show yourself because you're never gonna kill four people with one clip. It's just not happening. Nope, I, I agree with you. Anyway, balls on the attacking side. Diamond on the defense, 8-4 is score for Diamond, and I don't know, perhaps Boss will be able to pull it off, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it's gonna be, uh, be a tough situation, we could even see in overtime. Since these teams do uh, stack up quite well against each other, and Anip, oh, I thought for a second he picked up the bar, but he didn't. Gonna be looking to find Nikes here. He was watching across. I think he already missed the first shot, so he was uh, just doing some quick no, some uh, shots. Sorry, through his smoke. Mauser will pick himself the first record to curb up. Blur onto Icebox, and this is looking like a great round as Blur will get himself another frag to serve. Nike's going for that no scope. The players rushing Scopefield, picking up Nike's. Now, bomb's gotta go down on B, uncontested, of course, because these. Uh, Diamond players are nowhere near in a position as Mauser will uh, shut down MenQ to you with the last rank of the round, 8-5, and that's a convincing start for uh, Bowles. Yes, it is indeed, and a very good round uh, from them once again. Blur coming up really strong there, two quick M1 frags, and uh, right now, very good. 
I have to say, like, my personal feelings that it's looking very good for boss. I mean, they uh, they look very strong. But as I said, that Tio gets taken down from Benkyu's scope, and uh, that bomb is actually going to go down. No nades to contest that bomb plan. It's uh, Lucky there that the Mauser has dropped the MP44 of Kerber though, but it's winnable. I mean, happened before. Where is gonna hide at the at the Haven or whatever you want to call it, the wheelbarrow. The Mike's Blur and Enid have to fend off all these players. Enid will pick up the first. Icebark will then reply. Thank you with headshot on the Blur. Brilliant shot there at third room off of the remaining frag. Easy defuse again coming in for Team Diamond. Really good team play from uh, from, from the, the guys from Team Diamond. And that's uh, going to be 9 to 5. Explosives diffused. Diamond are uh, running away with it. Yeah, I mean, they do seem to be uh, pretty strong as well. But then again, Boss had had a good first round as well. Perhaps they're going to show it now. As a... Uh, they are gonna go for a B push once more. Nikes will uh, open up onto BenQ. That's a scope down. Early doors. Blur being picked off. Grenaded down by Kerba. As, uh, and it will uh, pick up the pieces. But a player from uh, Diamond has already crossed towards B. So perhaps they uh, don't want to risk it just yet to go to B. So maybe we're gonna see a rotation. But saying that those servers already in the back. And uh, will pick off Mauser. So there's no other choice right now. But to just go for B and commit to that side. Schofield will be uh, lying in wait as uh, Surf goes down, courtesy of Nikes. Tio is gonna go looking with his uh, shotgun. Action gun. Trying to find a hole. Will final to Schofield. That's a brilliant shot from Tio. Spock, meanwhile, in the back. Uh, Tio goes down. Icebox with a lovely easy frag to end it. And Nike's now your last man. You know, one on two. <sighs> uh, Icebox around that B area. Oh! And it will land the shot onto Icebox. That's a great headshot from him. Kerba now in a one on one versus Nike's. And Kerba goes peeking. And he will pick up Nike's. And wow. 10 to 5. Really, yeah, like you said, Diamond are really starting to pull away with this one. It is 2-1 on this uh, second half for uh, the Germans. I have to say, that headshot on the on Icebox, though. <laughs> really good uh, reactions there. But Enid will fall early to a grenade. Knights will uh, even it up all again onto Surf. Or on 4 situation right now, and there's only one player with a uh, boss on B. And look at what Team Diamond are doing. They're taking up aggressive mid. They are not sending anyone towards that B alley or that dark room. They're just gonna play it on the retake, play it on the uh, on the counter push, so to speak. And actually, as I said, that ice block is gonna move toward through the B alley, but that is, of course, gonna be held by Blur, who uh, takes him down with the M1. Schofield is gonna peek around the APC. It's not gonna land anything as of yet. Blur rattles off some shots towards him, but no tags, no frags, and. Find ourselves in a three on three. Kerbal will take down Mauser as uh, BenQ spotted him towards that car. BenQ is now going to make his way over towards the Bialy. Two teammates of him pushing the APC, and he's going to come from Bialy. This could be a great little setup here for Team Diamond if they play the cards right. But then again, they have Tio, Boss have Tio at that wall with a shotgun, which is such a dangerous position. And Blur will pick up the first frag onto BenQ. They will pick up the second onto Kerba, and this is spinning out of control. And Tio will take. The last frag, take the last name. And 10 to 6, your scoreline. Good round for Boss. Yeah, I got a little bit worried there uh, for Diamond, as, uh, or for Boss, sorry. Because Diamond did have a great setup to uh, get the fuse in. But fantastic play from Blur, getting himself a double frag. That uh, really changed the course of this round. As uh, Diamond will uh, care about, so we will open up at the end. It surf as well into Mauser. Ben Q's nades. The nades from Diamonds just mopping it up. So Blur and Nikes your last man. Nikes does land it onto BenQ. Will uh, Blur and Nikes be able to deliver though? I mean, we've seen Blur do it before. 
They're just uh, chilling in the smoke. It's in the top spawn. They just kind of play it slow. Slow down the pace. Gonna go looking. Two players on the uh, diamond on beast. Cofield, in fact, gonna go A log, which is quite risky to do so when you don't know where uh, Blur and Nikes are. But they are gonna go towards B this time. They don't wanna go uh, A, they don't wanna risk it because A is a quite open side. So Nikes nice. already be taken up quite heavily from uh, Icebook. And hello, Surf coming around the corner picking off uh, Nikes Blur now, your last man. And it's gonna be a crucial round. Let's blur the pick one up. Pick up one. Win. Eleven to six. Schofield comes in the back. Yeah, well. Eleven to six. Your scoreline. And uh right now it is a mountain to climb for boss, and it's gonna get even harder when Kerba picks up Nate Frags like that. Mauser and Theo down Schofield with a Nate Frag of his own. Nikes down 2v5. And that is how fast it can go. Five seconds in a round and you're already three man down. Blur will reply there. But it's instantly taken down by Schofield. Enid replies again onto Schofield. He's gonna almost get the frag at the, the front of MG. He's, uh, and it is gonna try to go for the one click maybe. But he jumps around. He actually gets the frag on the serve. That should not have happened because uh, Enid was actually tagged up. But you will shut him down. He comes around with the scope. Making this... 12 to 6, and this, this 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 is like six six match points, map points, match point. Actually, final points, grand final points. Exactly. Gonna pick it up with Nikes. See if we can get uh, some damage done. They still need six more rounds to bring us to an overtime. It's all or nothing, and Nikes does land a, a perfect shot onto Kerba over at the A side. Mauser. Desperately trying to do something. Thompson does land onto Surf. Nice again onto Schofield. Q and uh, Icebox with it all to do. They do get two quick frags in. Mauser and Nikes down. Q and looking with an MP44. But it is empty. Gotta go for a no scope and lands it onto Ed. It's 2 on 2 now. I mean, Ben Q and Icebox could well close out this round and advance to the grand final. But still, Tio and Blur left up alive. As Blur goes down to Ben Q. Could this be it for Boss? One or two now for uh, Tio. Get ready for some Tio action as he tags up Ben Q. Does lend the tag onto Icebox as well. Gonna have to be careful though because the two players and Icebox will come on top and finish the round off. 13-6. Diamond will advance to the grind final, and who would have thought that? Well, when we judge some of the group games of boss, we wouldn't, but right now, look at Team Diamond, so strong. Even I mean, Team Boss, sending them home. The Nate Frags, they made all the difference just the yep. last couple of rounds. They had like double, uh, double grenade kills, then just like rounds where you had at least two grenade kills. That was that just made the difference for Diamond, but fair enough, they they played it so well, especially when the bomb planted got planted as well. They just get their head cool Allies and play eliminated. together and coordinate their attack, win. which uh, eventually won them the match. Anyway, I have Grand to say that uh, that especially Kerba was uh, heavy on the nade kills. A lot of dot double frags coming in from him. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to see. I mean, nade, nade kills are essentially free kills because you don't really have to do anything for them. You know what I mean? You don't have to put yourself into dangerous positions. You just have to throw your nade and get a kill. <laughs> yep. Anyway, we're going to be uh, jumping into the grand final in uh, just a moment's time. I can only imagine Diamond just want to have a quick break after uh, three maps and four overtimes in one map. So uh, do bear with them as well. And uh, we'll be back quite soon. I think it's going to be around 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not too sure. 